Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video. As you can tell by the title, I am going to rate every Premier League ground in the 2020, no, is it 20, no, yeah, it's 2020 slash 21 Premier League season. It's coming towards the end, so I thought I'd make this video now and give you my opinions and why I've rated them this sort of way. Some, there's a few surprises in there as well. But for obvious reasons, I cannot put Palace right at the bottom and I can't put Brighton right at the top because then all you lot be calling me biased. So I'll try to make this as even as what I think is possible. So, But anyway, guys, let's get straight down to it. So, guys, you know what to do. So, like, big rock for that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, the first ground we're going to start off with in 20th place is Everton. Um, now, Everton have got a new home ground coming. I think it's been approved. Uh, and I believe it's due to be built in 2023, 2024, somewhere around there. But the reason I put uh, Everton at the bottom is because the beam and the away end, and I agree it's an old ground, um, you really can't, you know, basically watch the game if you're a away supporter. Uh, I do believe Everton should have changed that by now. So I put Everton at the bottom. Purely because of that reason, and that's a ground I've never been to, but personal experiences, people say it's not that great. So, in 19th, I went with West Brom. Now, West Brom with Albion, a ground I've been to once myself. Uh, I remember my club losing 3 on that day. It's a dreadful day up in Birmingham. Um, but, yet again, the reason I put them 19th, okay, yeah, it's nice outside when you're, you know, it's hot, I've like got a barbecue next door, and it's uh, not too far off from the away stand, if I remember, I think it's like on the west side of the stadium, but yet again, how can they steal a song like Chelsea and make it their own? Now, I'm not sure who got it first, so, you know, I hold my hands up to that, but yet again, you can't, you know, see why they do that if they did, um, and so I stuck them in 19th, but nice ground, been there once, but probably not one of my favourite grounds. In 18th, now I've done this trip once, it's up to Newcastle. Now for you that don't know, um, Newcastle to Brighton, so Brighton's at the sea end, if you want to call it that, right at the bottom of the country. And Newcastle's almost at the top of the UK, right on the Scottish border, not too far away from that. So I put them in 18th. Uh, purely because of the away fans, you see, it's so so far away. There's really no attention to you being there because I don't think unless your team takes the lead or you know your team wins the game, they can't really hear you. You try your hardest, but every time I've watched it, I can really barely hear the away fans. As I said, unless they're leading or unless you know they're going to take the three points, which obviously. Um, it's got to be expected, but yeah, as of, no fans this season, but as I've said, with previous experience, especially on the telly, I don't think the players can hear you that well. I could be wrong on that, though. Um, in 17th, I went with Crystal Palace. I've been there once um, in my life. Uh, Brighton lost again. Um, now, I remember we have a smoking area outside, so if you do smoke, even though you shouldn't, um, if you do smoke, I do have a smoking area outside. And the actual ground itself, I don't really like it. Um, I'm not sure whether they changed the away seats purely for Brighton. But um, if they don't, then this uh, solid slab seats, not very good seats whatsoever. Um, the ground looks unfinished. I know it's just part of their structure of the stadium. But, you know, if I was a Palace support, I'd probably be a bit annoyed about that. But, you know, it's the way they structure the their stadium so um yeah i've stuck with 17th purely because of them couple of reasons in 16th i went with burnley burnley a ground i've never actually been to i can't really speak on personal points but you know i look at their ground and to me it don't look like that great a stadium and obviously you fans can have your comments down below and you know put your their Premier League statement ratings and all that stuff down in the comments below as I just said. But yeah, I went with Burnley down there purely because their ground don't look that great. Um, as I said, I can't really speak on personal preferences, but, you know, 
it does look like a bit of one other from the stadium if you know where I'm coming from. Now, in 15th, I went with Aston Villa. Uh, Aston Villa, yet again, then ground on, ain't personally been to. Uh, the one chance Brighton did have, I couldn't get a ticket. But Aston Villa ground looks okay. Um, but, you know, I had to stick them somewhere and I suck with 15th. But as I said, the ground looks great. Um, but yet again, it does come down to other things as well as you'll find out in this video. Um, in 14th, I went with Leeds United. Leagues are, you know, newly promoted club to the Premier League after 16 years, as I think it was. Never actually been to their ground personally, so yet again, I can't speak on personal points. But they have got a good fan base, um, and that's probably what pushed you up just at one spot. 13th, I went with Sheffield United. Um, Sheffield United, obviously going to go down to the Championship, but a ground I've never actually been to again, um, you know, unfortunately. But their ground does look quite good, and when they're seeing that anthem, it sounds spectacular on the telly. I wish I could experience maybe one day. Who knows? In 12th, I went with Southampton. Southampton, yet again, a ground I've never actually been to. Um, but yet again, I watch, you know, a bit around Southampton matches and all that. Their ground does look spectacular. The one time I was meant to go, I actually felt unwell the day before, which, un, you know, gave me the um, unavailable to travel on the following day. So, but I would like to go to the Southampton ground maybe one day and uh you know see what it's actually like for real and who knows maybe if i do cross some of these grounds off my list it might change again in 11th place i went with west ham now west ham i've been countless times uh well i say countless times i think it's been three um in my you know life i'm talking about the london stadium now not upton park i, I went to upton park once uh, and I was fortunate to go there to experience it and my club actually lost 6 now. I remember that day pretty well. Um, first I think got a hat trick and Brighton were just all over the place. But yeah, at London Stadium, as I said, it's probably one of the worst places to play football. The crowd is so far away from the actual pitch and you know this yourself if you've been there. It's literally so, so far away. Unless you get a bit of an atmosphere now for you that have a bit if one of you shout the chances of them hearing you are very minimal um i remember the first time going up to west ham when uh, my club won three nil and funny enough we only got a bit of an atmosphere going but we knew they only heard us when glenmore scored a 90th minute penalty that's when we roughly knew that they heard us but yeah terrible ground to play football um you know, from a West Ham perspective, I think I'd rather have a new ground than play at the London Stadium. Just in my opinion, as I said, put your opinions down below. In 10th, I went with Chelsea. Now, Chelsea, I, you know, got a nice ground. A really, really nice ground. Um, You know, it's one of them old-fashioned stadiums. Everything I like about it. Just one thing. And even when they do the uh, Chelsea chant, you know, that's brilliant as well. But just one thing that put them so low in this table, and that is when you're away fans. When I've been up there once, um, and funny enough, we lost. I think we lost 1-0, 2-0. Um, everything was fine, but we boarded the coach before the final whistle. I think maybe one or two fans were waiting for, but... And then we were waiting up to an hour and a half to two hours before we moved. All the Chelsea fans had to walk past us. And you know like when you lose on a away day, you just want to get home. Uh, well, I want to anyway. In ninth place, I went with... Looks like they're possibly going down is Fulham. Ground I've been to once myself. Um, and funny enough, with Fulham, you've got the ground, you've got the Thames, and then... But just before you go down to towards the River Thames, on the left-hand side, there's a park. Um, and if you're into your like, aircrafts and the straight across um, Heathrow's flight path. Um, but yeah, great ground, uh, great where it is, right on the River Thames. 
obviously a new stand being built and I would still like to see Fulham survive this season. It's going to be tough, but who knows what's going to happen. In eighth place, a ground I've been to myself again is Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, Wolverhampton, been to once in my life. 0-0 scoreline. Uh, we missed a penalty. Uh, Tom Hammond, I think, took on that day. Um, but yeah, great day in the sun, especially when they do the uh, Wolverhampton uh, theme tune. Uh, you should know what it is, but if you don't, you don't. Um, but yeah, great ground, love it. Really ain't got nothing bad to say about it, really. In seventh place now, I went with my club, uh, Brighton. Now, obviously I've got season ticket, I'm a season ticket holder at Brighton, um, so a ground I've been to countless times. Uh, great, great space it's built. For you that have not had the experience of coming down, it's right off the A27, so as soon as you leave, you should be nearly straight back on the motorway. Um, it's one of them grounds. So, but yeah, lovely stadium. But I had to stick us in seventh. In sixth place, a ground I've never actually been to personally myself is Leicester. Now, everything I hear about Leicester, it looks like a great club, a great ground. Great atmosphere at times, um, but you know, I had to stick to somewhere, and I just think there's a few grounds maybe a bit better than Leicester. But yeah, again, I ain't got nothing to say bad about Leicester City. In fifth, I went with Manchester City. Uh, Manchester City, I've heard one or two rumours, I ain't actually been to City's ground personally, but you do have to, you know, wonder about these rumours that I've heard. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think they're allowed on YouTube. So, in fourth place, I went with Spurs. Um, Tottenham, been there once. Uh, Christian Eriksen, eight minutes screamer. Uh, you know, Brian could have walked away with a point that day, but never did. Um, but we have beaten them twice, maybe three times since then. So, we're getting our own back on him slowly. Um, but yes. I'll put Spurs in fourth purely because of the fact if you've ever been to Tottenham it's new ground it reminds me of the Emirates Stadium it reminds me so much of the Emirates Stadium the way it's built you know everything about it so I suck Spurs in fourth place as I said nothing really bad to them and I've been to White Hart Lane once third place I went with Arsenal the only reason I put Arsenal above Spurs is because it does remind me of the Emirates the only disappointing thing with Arsenal, you have to park so far away from the actual ground. The walk is a bit of a drag. But I did go, I think it's the first ever season, Brian were in the Premier League. And they had to park right outside the ground. Um, I, you know, I got a coach up that day. And funny enough, you know, it was quite quite okay. I think we lost. But the other thing that uh, puts Arsenal above Tottenham now, I don't know, you know whether it's other places in Tottenham, but... At the bottom um, tier, and I guess the third and second tier as well, they have got TV screens so you can watch the game or see the team lineups constantly if you throw at the back. If you're at the front, then you can't see them, but I've been lucky enough to go down and actually see them the screens, and they don't look that bad, to be honest. In second place, I've put Liverpool, Anfield. I've been to Anfield twice in my life. Once in the FA Cup, fourth round, I think it was, Brighton. And I think Brighton lost 6 1, but Brighton scored more goals than what Liverpool actually did, uh, just in the wrong net. And the second time I went up there, uh, it was a Premier League game between Liverpool and Brighton, and we lost 1 0, and Bazuma probably should have scored. But what puts Liverpool up there is you never walk alone. When that belts out and you hear the Liverpool fans chant it out, it makes my hair stand up on the back of my neck. It is brilliant. If you haven't had a chance to go to Liverpool, just to experience that, do try and do it, because I'll, I probably will do it again at some point. And in first place, I put Old Trafford, Manchester United. Where have I put Man United up there? Now, with Man United, their ground is so brilliant. I mean... Disable parking for away fans, they let you use their own car park, customer car park for disabled fans, you know, even if you're, even if you're a waste for. I know clubs in the Premier League that don't even let you use their, their own customer car park if you're a away fan. United do, 
um, last time I went up there. Hopefully I still do. But yeah, so anyway guys, this has been my uh, Premier League ground rating 20 to 1. Uh, put your rating down below. Where would you put these clubs? Where would you put the stadiums? But anyway guys, as I said, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So guys, you know what to do. Give it a big front front that you enjoy. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.